On first down. Handoff to Larry McCannon with a plenty of room. Across the number, past the 40, out near midfield. So Larry McCammon, the junior out of Birmingham, Alabama. He's averaged over 100 yards per game, and you saw that massive hole that was created by an offensive line. Second and 10. Perry on the option. McCammon, run on the outside, down the sideline, has the first down. Scoops out of bounds by the 20. Same with Zuberry Mobley. Who had a big game last week. He gets the carry here and Mobley up the middle. He scoots through and scores. What a try for FAU to get this one started. But he got it and was able to protect his body too. See his season numbers there. First down. The ball out late on that scamper up the middle and FAU looks like they have it. They do. Fourth down and seven with Bowser the running back. Offense stays on. Offensive line doesn't move, perhaps early movement. Regardless, O'Keefe on the out pattern picks up the first down there. And I don't see a flag down. Seven trips or seven scores, all touchdowns in the red zone and 11 trips. Bryce Plumley keeps down the near sideline and scoops in, points the finger, saying put six on the board. John Rice Plumley, his second rushing touchdown of the season. And UCF, an extra point away from tying it. Perry, gets a four-man rush. High floating pass near sideline, what a catch! Jamal Edrin, flexes. Second and 10, handoff. Zuberi Mobley up the middle, first down yardage. Cars inside the 25, brought down at the 22. First down and goal from the five. The pitch to Wester on the outside, turns the corner, scoots in. Touchdown, FAU. Able to evade that one defender and get positive yardage. Third down and four. John Rice Plumley first down. And he's not afraid to get hit as a quarterback. He's plopped by Wansley for FAU. Got a timeout, but I like it. They do snap it on fourth and five. Plumley's pressure, rifles, and caught. Strong hands by Baker inside the 30. First down UCF on a fourth and five conversion. The freshman Colton Boomer, his first field goal attempt of the season, replacing Daniel Obarski, who struggled over the last couple of seasons. The field goal by Boomer. <laughs> Who's the coach yeah. here at FAU? A third is short, going deep. Over the top is Alec Holler. Holler with no one in front of him. He's being chased by Hill, and he's pushed out of bounds right around the 25. UCS made the trip down I-95 near to Boca. Roll out on second and goal. Bryce Plumley keeps, goes <laughs> over the top, wow! Touchdown, UCF! Bryce Plumley amongst the clouds. Your teammates as a quarterback, you make a play like this. He decided there, I'm getting in the end zone no matter what. I told you. 16-yard line where it's marked after the timeout. First and 10. Bobble on the exchange. Ball on the grass. Looks like UCF on top of it. Indeed. To try to double up on and get another one. Under center for one of the rare times, oh. and that's what happens. The ball comes out. Mentioned, uh, hadn't seen Rice Plumley in the last couple of weeks under center much. And FAU says it's their football. It's under the referees. Wild Bowser here with Isaiah Bowser in the Wildcat. Gets the snap off edge near side and can walk in. Touchdown, UCF. <laughs> Isaiah Bowser just is able to get to the outside. Look out for every opponent on UCF's schedule. Extended play action fake, sets his feet and rifles, it's intercepted. Dwight Toons with the pick for FAU, with Rome down the near sideline. He's hunting for the end zone, dives ahead. Down at the one. They're trying to run a deep pass here, a deep crossing route. He's trying to throw it over. 
the defender who made the interception just a severe underthrow from John Rice Blumley. Well, I didn't have a problem with the read. It was just the throw itself. And then he does make the tackle. But that ball did look like it just didn't come out clean. I thought it slipped out of his hand. Which of course Dwight Toombs says no problem. I'll take that. Really on the field as the runner was out of bounds at the one yard line. Well, Suarez will try to deposit those three. It's just a 19 yard. It's blocked. Wow. UCF comes up large. Looks like Devon Wilson got his ball in there. Second and ten. John Rice Plumley on the move. He has the first down. He kicks it into another gear up near midfield. Now he's got to develop to be a more consistent passer. But from what we've seen tonight, the interception, give him a pass on that one. That was a mistake he'd love to throw, he'd love to have back. Ryan O'Keefe on the sweep. He stays on his feet, continues to the 20. John Rice Plumley takes himself. Quick tempo. It's a touchdown up the middle. RJ Harvey, his first score of the season. Third and ten from the 25. Perry bottled up and taken down. Back at the 17. He's taking a lot of licks, man. He's probably like got ripped off. <laughs> Oh, here's a reverse and then a flip back lead flicker John Rice Plumley throws wide open Alec Holler inside the 20 head over heels near the 15 trickery for yes. UCF of course FAU got stood up at the goal line and then had a field goal 19 yards blocked John Rice Plumley <laughs> second and four using the play action I could hear that chuckle Dan. I, mean, I just feel like you, I, you're jealous of the I, skills that this guy has I am game. This one from 29 yards away. He missed an extra point earlier on. The freshman boomer, true to his name. But there's a great chance that UCF could be a one-loss team at the end of the year. And boy, if they are, you know what's going to bother Gus Malzahn in the Knights? That game against Louisville. I just know competitors. Oh, beautiful pass. So, Javon Baker up top. Touchdown, UCF. Wow. High pointed the ball. And then scored a touchdown right after it. And hasn't really been close since. RJ Harvey keeps his feet moving. And gets a big gain on the ground. Coming off a tough loss to Louisville. It is a bounce back that Gus Malzahn and company needed. 40 to 14. A huge second half and a road win in the state of Florida against FAU.